As marketplaces have shifted into a digital world, more and more patrons of the art would have also begun shopping online. As an artist, however, how do you begin selling more of your prints? What are some of the strategies to sell online and through Facebook that could lead to more results for your work? While these five strategies will focus primarily on Facebook, they're applicable with modification to selling your own prints in other markets. Some of these strategies can and should also influence your work selling prints in real life. So what exactly are these strategies? Well, keep watching to find out. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkivowitz, the Chief Community Officer here at Imagely, and today we're talking about five Facebook strategies to sell more prints. What are these strategies? Well, here's a fast breakdown. One, don't undervalue your work. Two, limit your prints when it makes sense. Three, package your work professionally. Four, provide visual interest and context. And five, promote your work. Lots of photographers are told to never photograph for free, never to work for free. When it comes to prints, however, you need to charge something. Sadly, newer photographers that are unaware of the art would rarely understand that by selling their prints close to cost, they're severely undermining both themselves as a photographer and their business in selling prints. Let's say you create a print to sell. The print costs you $80 from your lab, your own printer, or wherever. Selling that print at $120 shipped will mean that if you are taking proper shipping measures, you might not be making $20. If your goal is to sell thousand dollars worth of prints, you're going to have to sell that print 50 times over. On the other hand, let's say that you price that print at 200 plus shipping. At that point, your new profit is $120 per print, meaning that for just nine prints, you've made more income than your previous 50 that you sold. We're going to touch on this later, but this provides you some leeway when it comes to other strategies you should be incorporating. Scarcity is one of the drivers of price in the art world. Photographers are strange because in the age of digital photography, you could print hundreds or thousands of images from one file. This is also true with traditional printing process, but if you cut up the film, it was no longer true. On the other hand, saying you deleted a digital file doesn't just have the same effect. Even if it did, there was no telling how many backups you may have forgotten about. Instead, much of the photographic art would rely on honesty. If you're going to create a limited run of prints, let's say a run of 20 prints, then create those 20 and then one or two proofs. If your prints are something that you want to sell in a really low volume or the market dictates that that is how it should be sold, then creating a limited run print is what you should do first. You could sign these prints, you could number these prints, and this is where doing a Facebook ad would really be beneficial because anybody looking for artwork on Facebook is going to see a limited print. And if it's in their genre of interest and they see it signed and numbered, it's going to really attract their attention. The next thing is talking about shipment and packaging. Now, I don't just mean shipping in a nice box. Yes, you want to ship it well, you want to take the right measures to ship your artwork, but packaging means everything. Is it bound? Is it tied in a ribbon? Is it wrapped in a beautiful wrapping paper? Is it framed? Is it matted? How is this entire product from front to back, from top to bottom, how is it all compiled? If you are packaging it nicely from top to bottom, you're going to sell it at a higher price than you would if it was just a plain piece of paper print. Of course, shipping will be more if you're in a frame, if there's glass, if there's a mat, everything, it adds up. All that weight adds up, the size adds up. So you need to take that into account when you're talking about shipping cost as well. Stimulating a visual interest is also very important. If you are paying for content to be promoted on Facebook, especially you want to make sure that your advertising grasps the viewer's attention. Have easy to read, simple and short copy alongside beautiful photos of the prints of the images. Make sure the majority of people can see the advertisement, both love the image that is printed and can see it being placed within their own home. That might mean that actually hanging the work in a house on a wall that looks beautiful can actually sell that work even more and even faster. 
Promoting your work can take a lot of time and effort, but is definitely one of the most proven ways of selling more. Advertise your Facebook page through your friends and have people you work with share it in exchange for you to sharing theirs. Support others in the art world and they will generally support you back. Join a network of people that are also local small businesses and have them share it and you share their work. And if you want to get into coupons and promos, you could do that. Just tie them into holidays, Valentine's Day, for example, or anniversaries or things like that. July 4th, Independence Day. Any holiday would be a good place to do a nice sale for different things. Selling prints can take time, and that is okay. If prints aren't selling, you don't need to sell them for next to nothing, and you shouldn't ever sell them below cost if you don't have to. Instead, Put them away and bring them back for a limited stock or cleaning out storage sale down the line. As your audience grows, more people will want some of the prints that you no longer sell as they have an emotional connection to your work, either in the form of nostalgia for those that have been, been there for a long time or the desire to own and see your art earlier. This video has been a small snippet of a full article we wrote called Five Facebook Strategies to Sell More Prints. Click on this in the link in the description down below to read the full article in all of its detail. And be sure to click that subscribe button so you get notified when the next video goes live. See you then.